Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question 1. 7 times 8 equals what? So the answer is, 7 times 8 is 56. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question 2. 9 times 7 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 3. 7 times 3 equals what? So the answer is, 7 times 3 is 21. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 4. 2 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 2 times 6 is 12. To calculate, we have two groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 5. 5 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 5 is 25. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 25 balls. Question 6. 6 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 8 is 48. To calculate, we have 6 groups, with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 7. 6 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 6 times 7 is 42. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 7 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 8. 9 times 3 equals what?
So the answer is 9 times 3 is 27. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 9. 7 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 7 times 4 is 28. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 10. 6 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 5 is 30. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Uh, 30 balls. Question 11. 3 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 4 is 12. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 12. 7 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 9 is 63. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 9 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 13. 3 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 8 is 24. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 8 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 14. 9 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 9 times 2 is 18. To calculate, we have 9 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 15. 5 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 5 times 2 is 10. To calculate, we have 5 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 16. 4 times 9 
equals what? So the answer is four times nine is 36. To calculate, we have four groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Again, 36 balls. Question 17, four times seven equals what? So the answer is four times seven is 28. To calculate, we have four groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 28 balls. Question 18, four times six equals what? So the answer is four times six is 24. To calculate, we have four groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 19, eight times nine equals what? So the answer is eight times nine is 72. To calculate, we have eight groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 72 balls. Question 20. Nine times six equals what? So, the answer is nine times six is 54. To calculate, we have nine groups with six balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 54 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.